Hello, here's a super short tutorial for how to add like a slight little reverb if you want a song to end before it's supposed to end or if someone's talking and you're going to another scene, whatever, you, you probably have some use case for it. So let's try to keep it to like two minutes or less. So I've got my timeline here with some video and some audio. Let's listen to that just a little bit. Let's say I want it to end right there. So I'll splice that and delete everything after it. And then I'll make a cut right here so I just have the last part. Then I'll duplicate that downwards. Let's mute this top layer for now. So on this bottom layer, we only have this sound. I'll then drag that out a bunch like that. Make a cut right there. And I will mute this second half by unenabling it. I'll do a little bit of a crossfade right there and I'll fade it in just a little bit as well. I will nest the two of them. Then I'll go up here and I'll type in reverb and I'll do the surround reverb. Drop that on there, pull the volume up to max, right click, render and replace. So now all we've got is... So let's bump the volume on that just a little bit. We can join these back together. Add a little bit of a fade out there. Unmute the track, let's see what we got. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I can shorten it down, fade it just a bit. So the quick explanation of why we do all of that is because if you only throw the surround reverb on this little sound right here, it'll stop as soon as the audio stops. So what we're doing is essentially putting a bunch of silence after the little sound. And then when we nest those together, it's gonna be just audio for this beginning bit and then silence. So when we throw on the reverb, it has time to ring out. Uh, and that's it, that's the quick and dirty way. There are several ways of doing this, but this is the way that I do it uh, very regularly. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much and uh, see you some other time.